So now we've created a lamp. There's only one more thing that we need to do. As it currently stands, we don't really have a lamp. What we actually have is four different pieces of a lamp that don't connect to each other. In order to make our final step to make a single object, we're going to need to link these objects together. In order to link objects together, you need to select all the objects that you want to link all at the same time. Now one way to do that is when we're in edit mode, you can click and drag, and every object that's within the box that you drag will be selected. Another possibility is to hold the shift key and what that will do is add the object that you're clicking to your selection. Now I'm doing something here that for most people is not important. If you want to go on to make your light so that it can turn on and off, you want to be very careful to select the light bulb last. If you're not planning to look at the scripts at all, don't worry about it. But if you want to go on later and make your light so that it can turn on and off, you want to select the light bulb last. And we'll see why. Because now what we're going to do to link these together is to press Control L. And now notice what happened. The outlines of our objects turn blue, except for the light bulb. The idea is that when we create a compound object, so an object made out of more than one prim, there's sort of a main prim, which is the one that's yellow, the light bulb, and then there are all the other prims that are linked to it. So now that we have our lamp linked together, we can, it's treated as a single object. When I drag it, the whole lamp moves. You've just created a low prim lamp. So we've built a low prim lamp. The next thing that we're going to do is to go ahead and add the functionality that allows you to turn the lamp on and off by clicking it. Now, even if you are a new user to Second Life, you really don't need to know much in order to get some nice animation effects on your objects. The key is to collect scripts that you know what they do and then just use them. So we're going to try that out this time. Now remember under your inventory, you got a folder of supplies for this project. Open up that folder. You'll notice that there's a script called light on and off. This is the script icon. Now the way that objects are animated in Second Life is that every object has a list of contents. So if we go over to our editing pane with our lamp selected, we'll go to the content tab. And you'll see there's a folder of the contents of the object. Right now there aren't any. But what we can do is just drag and drop our script from our inventory to the contents of our lamp. Like so. Now the script is in the lamp. So let's see what happens. I'm going to close my editing tab. Now watch what happens to the light on the ground when I click the lamp. It went out. Now it's back. So you don't have to be a programming ace or even really know anything about programming to get a lot of interesting effects. The key is to know where to find nice scripts. A lot of freebie stores or newbie stores have collections of scripts that you can uh, just use for free, and also places like uh, NMC Island or Educators Island, they tend to have collections of free scripts. Now one thing I want to say is that if you linked your lamp incorrectly, you might have had some problems with the last step. In particular what might happen is it might be that now your light bulb is not emitting light and perhaps the body of your lamp is emitting light. In this particular case, it's a little bit hard to tell, but I need to show you one more thing about linking objects. So I'm going to go ahead and right-click my object and select Edit. Now, in the previous step, I asked you to select the light bulb last so that it would become the main object or the parent object of the lamp. Okay, this is a compound object. It's made out of multiple prims, and the light bulb is the parent prim, and you can tell that because it has this yellow halo. Now what could happen to you is perhaps 
you selected things in the wrong order. In order to fix that, you're going to have to unlink the object and relink it in the proper order. Remember, linking used Control L. In order to unlink, just use Control Shift L. And now you can tell it's unlinked because everything is turned yellow. Now, the parent prim is always going to be whichever prim you selected last. So in order to make the light bulb the parent prim, all we're going to do is unselect it by shift clicking and then reselect it by shift clicking. Now it will be the last prim out of the set that was selected and when we hit control L you'll see that it is now the parent prim. It has that nice yellow halo. Whenever you interact with an object all the things you do, clicking it, uh, dragging it, bumping into it, all that information gets sent to the parent prim. So whatever scripts you have are going to be placed in the parent prim. In this case, our light on and off script is actually in the light bulb. Even though, if I click on the base, the light still goes on and off. That's because anywhere that I click, the information about that click gets passed to the light bulb. And that's the effect we want. We want the light bulb to be turning on and off.